Today I'm going to tell you who to vote for. On Tuesday. I'm going to tell you who's going to win. The election, right? You want to hear? If you stay till the end, you'll learn. Imagine you have a person who is blind. Right? Close your eyes for a second. And you don't see this darkness. And you don't know where you walk. You feel compassion upon yourself because I cannot see. Now think for a second. Open your eyes and think for a second. That blind person is me. We are blind because we don't see. What do you mean we, we don't see? We do see. We don't see anything. When you look outside the world and you see trees and you see mountains and you see the New York Times and the New York Post and you see CNN and Fox News and you are blind because that is not reality. The reality, the truth is Torah, God. That is the truth. The truth is that you don't see that your obstacles, your challenges are just obstacles. They are not true. You don't see it from God's perspective because you are blind. Imagine you looking at a blind guy in the street and you, you can feel compassion for him. We are worse than those people. You know why we are worse? Because the blind guy at least knows that he's blind. But we don't even realize that we are blind. We don't see. We think that there's going to be a new president on Tuesday morning, on Tuesday night, or a few weeks after, whenever they elect him or her. And we think that person is running the country. Why do we think that? Because we are blind. Who's running the country? God, master of the universe, is running the country. But we don't see that. And therefore we got so stressed and anxious. And that's because we are blind. We don't realize that the person running things is up there. The person orchestrating the world is up there is God. That is the truth. And that's who's going to win on Tuesday, the person who realizes the truth.